This is how you can make a website preview command for your Discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you'd like to get access to one of these bot packages, you can do so by joining the server in the description below and heading over to our server shop. We have three bot packages right now, but we will be releasing more soon. Each of these have their own individualized features, and you can see the features list by clicking on it and scrolling down to here. You can also get the source code from this video or other videos on my channel by purchasing a qualifying tier on Discord or YouTube. So if you're interested in any of this, go ahead and click the links in the description below to get started with it, and let's go ahead and get into the code. So to start, we're going to go over to community, and we can go ahead and create our website preview.js, and then in here, we're going to get our slash command builder, we can get our button builder, we can get our action row builder, and we can get our button style, and then we do equals require, and we're going to go ahead and get discord.js just like that. Then we're going to do module.exports, and we can open this up, we're going to get our data, which is going to be our new slash slash command builder and we're going to go ahead and start off by setting a name we can go ahead and do a preview website and then we can go ahead and set a description here we can go ahead and say preview a website by uploading and then we can do its and we can add a s just like that and then we can go ahead and say html file then we can go ahead and do our attachments. So we can do add attachment option and we can do option arrow function. We can get our option.set name. This is going to be our HTML file. And we can go ahead and set a description. We can go ahead and say the HTML file to preview. And we're going to go ahead and set required. And we can go ahead and set that to true. We can add a comma. We're going to do async executes. We can go ahead and get our interaction. And we're going to go ahead and open this up. So first, we're going to go ahead and get our attachments. So we can do const attachment equals interaction dot options to get attachment. And we're going to set that equal to our HTML file. Then we can go ahead and do const channel equals await interaction dot guild dot channels dot cache dot get. So we're going to go ahead and create a cache channel for this. So go to your bot's testing server or a server that your bot is in, preferably one that nobody else is in or that only you have access to. And then we can go ahead and create a channel right here and we're gonna go ahead and call this cache. All we have to do is copy the ID and go back into our project. Then in here, we're gonna go ahead and paste that ID in there. And then we can do const msg equals await channel dot send. And we can get our files, which is going to be our attachment, just like that. So we're basically using this channel as a cache channel. So we can go ahead and get the correct information about this attachment that we actually need to proceed with this preview. So after we do that, we can do const proxy equals msg dot attachments dot first. And we can do dot URL, just like that. Then we can do const URL equals, and we're going to do HTTPS. We can get M-A-H-T-O. And we can do the ID slash chat exporter. And then we can do question mark URL equals. And we're going to go ahead and get our proxy URL just like that. Following that, we can go ahead and make our buttons. So we can do const buttons equals new action rope builder. We can go ahead and add some components. We're going to get our new button builder. And we can go ahead and set a label. We can go ahead and do open. And then we can go ahead and set our style, which is going to be button style dot link. And then we can go ahead and set a URL, which is going to be our URL variable and just like that. So after we do that, we can actually go ahead and send this. So we can do await interaction dot reply. And we're going to get contents and we can go ahead and say, here is your preview. And we're actually going to go ahead and do this in brackets. We can do preview and we can get URL just like that outside of it. It's going to be our URL variable. So that's going to be like a link. Uh, that you could go ahead and click and then we can do comma we're going to do components and this is going to be our button component and then we can go ahead and do informal because we want to go ahead and make it so only you can see this message and we're going to go ahead and set that to true all right so after we do that we should be good to go so we can go ahead and save the file restart the bot and test this out all right so over in the discord server here we're going to go ahead and run our command so this is going to be preview website and i'm going to go ahead and open up an html file so i'm just going to go ahead and open up one of the coding lounge websites files we can just go ahead and do this one and we're going to go ahead and send this as our attachment so the first thing that you're going to go ahead and notice is the cache channel got a new message. So if we open this up, as you can see, we're going to go ahead and have our messages cache. So this is the HTML code for that website. All you're using this for is that you can get the information of the link. So you don't really have to view any of this. You can just ignore it. So but then if we go back over to here and we go ahead and open this preview, it's going to go ahead and open a brand new site. As you can see, it's the link that we put in there, but it's going to be our website. So I want you to notice if we try to navigate this website it's not going to work because it's on the preview website URL but this is going to be the preview of that HTML document so basically what this allows you to do is you can open up any 
HTML file. This time we'll do the home and we can send it. And this time it's going to go ahead and send. And if we open this up, as you can see here, we have what looks like a website. It's our website preview, but it's just a preview. You can't actually navigate the website. It's just showcasing this HTML file. So the use case for this would be like your friend was coding a website and they wanted you to see it, but they didn't want to send you all the code and that you didn't want to have to run it on your computer. So they just ran this command and obviously you could turn Inferma off. Then the other person could open this link up and see the website they were working on. So that's just one of the uses for this. It's pretty useful, and yeah. So that's how you can make an advanced website preview command using your Discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and use our help channels here, and we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because this is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.